Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm Christina, and today, if you were watching this, it is National Sticker Day. Yay, we love that in Planner Land uh, 2022. And I thought it might be uh, cool for National Sticker Day to do something a little bit different on my channel. As of now, all the videos on my channel, all you've seen are my hands, my planning hands. Um, today, I decided to show you where the magic happens behind the scenes, a tour of my cloffice. Um, just so you know what a cloffice is, it is literally what it sounds like it is a closet office this is a uh, closet that my husband uh, kind of uh, rearranged for me into a little office because I work from home full-time and my planning and I, he knew I needed a space he was tired of me doing it all in our master bedroom so um, it will be a quick tour and I hope you enjoy it and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below let's get into it okay guys let's go into my cloffice I'm gonna to try to make this as quick as possible. We're just gonna do a quick panorama. I'm shutting the door. We're gonna do a quick panorama of where I'm standing and what everything looks like. And then we will start kind of talking about what is going on in here. Like I said, it is not fancy in here um, at all, but I love this space. So let's start right here. Let's start at the stand. I kind of let's start from the top bottom I think would work I'm trying to keep this as zoomed out as possible so you guys can see as much um so this is um a stand it's actually two stands it's a stand on top of a stand as you can see they are not the exact same size um going back up at the very very top um that little kind of plastic teal container back there contains a whole bunch of like uh faith books books i want to read ones that i've already read this container right here i don't know if you can see it the plastic container is all of my metal discs so maybe i'll do a tour of that one day or a walkthrough with all the metal discs i have this right here is my church bible <laughs> that's the one i grab when i'm going to church these are all of my uh, flowers that you see um for props in my instagram pictures over here is a stack of bible studies from the daily grace co that i want to go through and to my printer if you go down to this section right here this is kind of kerfuffle of all types of things um i have a sign that my son and daughter gave me with their names on it i can switch out the letters but i never do another sign i got for another holiday probably mother's day or something like that my daughter got one of those sand kits and made me a sand thing <laughs> so i keep it here because she gave it to me and then behind here y'all if you can tell is a cricket machine i don't use it enough um i'm hoping to kind of revamp this whole stand because i'm running out of room as you can see to where i'll use my cricket a little bit more but i can use it on this shelf i just move the signs and turn on the lights right there and it's already plugged in and i'll just cut something okay so let's move down here these are my Happy Planner stickers. Um, these five right here, one, two, three, four, five. Um, they're in alphabetical order, so I work this way. That's how my mind works. Um, so A to Z, and then the Disney ones are down there by themselves. Um, I've gotten rid of a lot of books recently. Um, well, they're out of my cloffice. I need to get them out of my house. I need to truly destash them. They're sitting in a box somewhere else in my house. So hopefully I'll be doing that soon, but I've got this down to a, a slightly more manageable number, um, but I probably need to do another round to see if there's anything that I don't want to use and destash those for real, sell them, give them away, whatever. Down here on the left are my mostly non-happy planner sticker books so in the front i have mojo jojo plans in the middle i have live love posh sticker books and in the back i'll show you how deep it goes in the back i have uh, kill the plan in the very very back i have the happy planner mega books that i don't grab for as often nowadays like the original joanne's uh, flower power bright pastels rainbow those ones are back there and that big miss maker sticker book um, on the side here, I have some of the like princess, like Mambi sticks, like the big ones. Um, and in the front, I have some random stickers, um, some big of some of the big sheets from my girl Casey at Pleasantly Planned. And of course, sitting on top is my little binder of all of the little uh, stickers that I grab, like especially when I'm doing like, my faith planning and things like that. Okay, scooching down here. I have um, the planners that I grab on a regular basis, the current ones that I'm using. So I have like the work, the uh, catch-all, et cetera. And these three over here are full of like note paper and daily sheets. And um, this, so this is the section I'm grabbing for when I'm switching out my planners every month, you know, to pull out an old month and put in a new one, I'm grabbing this section. Here I have a whole bunch of like writing utensils, pens, 
highlighters, uh, lettering, pens, things like that. Down here um, is a whole container of extra sticker books or rare sticker books that I'm not quite ready to de-stash yet. So for example, I have like the original Miss Maker down here. I have an extra botanicals because that's one of my favorite sticker books. All of that lives down here, as well as the accessory packs uh, sticker books. So the uh, sticker books that come with the um, little, like note pages on one side of them and stickers on the right, they're down there as well. And down here, y'all, is a kerfuffle of accessories. So um dashboards extra covers um folders uh pin loops all of the accessories that you can think of go in here and it is busting at the seams y'all gonna have to figure out something else so y'all that is my little stand or my double stand over here we'll move this way i think makes sense um this is kind of like my pending box. So I have some plant planners here. This is my completed work and catch all for 2021. This is my completed faith for 2021. And some like that notes, plans and notes thing back here that I don't know what to do with quite yet. Um, they're sitting here because I need to film um, some flip throughs of them. So I leave them in this box to remind me to do so. And any sticker books that I'm getting ready to plan with or whatever, I throw in here so I know that I'm getting ready to use them. And then I put them back. I have a extra ring light back here um, in case I need extra light for my videos. And I charge my Apple Watch in here. This stand right here, hopefully you guys can see it, is full of all kinds of stuff. At the top is full of um, like personal stuff, like masks, um, just odds and ends of things in the middle here is like planning central so if i'm running out of tombow whiteouts if i need another pair of tweezers scissors whatever it is i will go in this drawer and try to find it and at the bottom is more just like extra extra paper for my printer extra ink um some more cords and that type of thing um let's go under my desk I guess. Sorry, y'all. This is not a very professional video. Um, under my desk, I have another cart here. Um, again, this is kind of a range of things going on here, but more tools. So you can see there is a cutting um, board here. I have another one there. My wax paper. Behind it, I have like a Lysol uh, wipe container um, that I like to keep in case I need to wipe down my desk. Here, I have a Notique cover that I just got that I might be doing, showing you guys on the channel. I don't know, maybe stay tuned for that, depending on what happens. And just some like more junk under here. I don't even know what's under there. Batteries, my daughter's batteries, things like that. Okay, let's move up here to my filming area. So this is my filming slash planning area. This is my ring light. Um, this is what I use to film my videos. I just put my phone in this section right here and I turn on the light here and I film. So yeah, it's not fancy y'all. Sometimes even because this tends to kind of turn, as you can see to the left, I have to put like a little like rag or something back there to keep it straight. That's usually what it looks like, but that's how I film all my videos is on my cell phone. Um, I have my board weekly board up here um, that I usually have filled in but my daughter got um, a easel for Christmas and half of it was a uh, dry erase board so she stole all my markers so I don't have any more markers I'm trying to turn this light off y'all um, I don't have any more markers for it because she took them all so I'll have to get some more but usually that's filled in right there over here on this side of my desk the corner where I don't really the space is not utilized except to store stuff up here I've got my apple keyboard magic mouse um, an a5 notebook by live love posh a skinny mini just for note-taking purposes some airpods and this prayer box that I got from one of my co-workers a really long time ago um, it's really cute it has a little notepad and a little mechanical pencil in there you can write down your prayers and so I always keep that close because I love it so much here I have in this section my journaling Bible where I kind of like a uh, letter and put stickers in my study Bible I have this cute little sign here that's interchangeable I think that's from Target I got it forever ago but I usually keep it on the just you wait because it reminds me of Hamilton and if you guys are aware I love musical theater Hamilton is one of my favorites so I usually keep it on that have some of my special pens back there some um, Victoria's Secret spray back there in case my room needs a little refresh um a fake plant because 
I can't get real ones alive. <laughs> Here are my pens. I have um, some Skinny Friction pens. I have some Paper Mate Ink Joy. My Paper Mate Flares go in here with some like random other pen and my mild liners. Down here in this drawer, it's just some more tech stuff, you know, like um, extra apple cords, things like that. Um, some headache medicines and ibuprofen because girl, sometimes I be having a headache. Um, and my little plenty uh, pack uh, here from Amber Plans Your Day. If you guys hear me rummaging on my videos looking for planner supplies, it's probably in here first. <laughs> Let's back out here to my planning section. This is where I keep all of my like current that I'm planners that I'm using. So first, sorry, I'm trying to get this straight, is right here is a teacher planner um, where me and my son will keep track of his assignments and his work. He's in eighth grade, it's a struggle. So that planner is very necessary. In the middle here, um, kind of push back is this uh, Bible study by the Daily Grace Co. called Grace in the Wilderness that I've been uh, beginning to read. So I keep that there. This is my Franken planner. You guys have seen this many times. Um, in this Franken planner, I keep my catch all, my budget, my social media, and my work planner. So that stays there. This is my war binder slash faith planner that I keep there. This is a little notebook that I got from my daughter for Christmas. She was really excited to give it to me because she knows I love notebooks and planning. Um, so I really wanted to use it. I wanted her to see that I'm using it. And so I decided to write down like my video um, notes in here and then the pages are perforated. So when I'm done, I just toss the page tear it out and toss it so that's there and then this calligraphy book i keep saying i want to continue to practice my hand lettering so i just leave that there as a reminder to do so so let's back out a little bit so you can see my entire kind of like work setup my little pictures on the wall and we'll zoom back in and we will talk about what's over here starting on this side this is my work computer um i have a ring light up here um the way that my window is or where the location of my window is in here is um it casts a lot of shadows so i sometimes i need the ring light on my face when i'm on conference calls so you can actually see me and i don't look like i'm in a cave even though i am kind of in a cave <laughs> um so I keep that. This is my work computer, obviously. This is um, a stand. I love this stand. I got this stand from Amazon and it's actually ergonomic. So it's, it's up pretty high as you can see because I want my monitor and my computer to be kind of the same height because I do use dual monitors a lot at work. But if I push this um, in, I can pull up. It's not uh, mechanical. I mean, it's not um, electronic. It is mechanical. I have to do it on my own. But if I push this in and pull this up, it can stand even higher. I'm pretty short, so I don't need it to be super high. But um, it will be higher so I can actually stand and work. Sometimes sitting in a chair all day. Y'all already know how it is if y'all do office type work. Um, so yeah, I really love that stand. My monitor here. I have a fake plant because again, I cannot keep real ones alive. <laughs> I have my personal computer. I have my personal iPad that I just kind of keep here. Um, and then below, I have a host of things. My keyboard, obviously, my mouse. I have my Alexa. I have um, a notepad, have plenty of notepad. I have a mug that actually doesn't have to have coffee in it. It has a host of things. I think one of them is m and So when I'm getting frustrated at work and I need a snack, I will look in there. I have a wireless charging pad that is not plugged in. So it's just right now there for decoration. To the right, I have a mirror. Um, Hi guys, it's me. Um, a mirror here, um, so I can kind of check myself when I before I'm getting on a conference call. And I have my uh, Starbucks water cup and the coffee because it is in the morning and coffee is essential. Let me just back out so you can see kind of the window set up here. Like I said, when I'm sitting at my desk, um, if I'm on my computers, the window is to my right, back right, and if I'm planning. Um, on that side, the window is behind me. So that's why I need kind of all of the extra ring lights that I have going on here. Got these signs from Marshalls, um, the women of color, the black women there. I love these signs so much. This one I think I got from Hobby Lobby, says Top Knots and Espresso Shots. And the one on this side of the window says Hello Darling. I think I might have gotten that one from Hobby Lobby as well. Below here, um, I know it's kind of a weird angle so you can't really tell. Um, normally I have my purse sitting on it. I think I took it off. Um, I have an ottoman sitting right here because uh, my kids and my husband love to just come in and sit. <laughs> so they will sit on the ottoman, but I keep my purse usually on top of it. And I also have a little step stool in the corner here to help me get up there because I am very, very short. Above my door on this side, I have a sign that says good vibes. And then on the door, I have two totes. Uh, one is a tote that I usually to carry to church. You know, I just throw my um, 
Bible uh, in there as well as my faith planner or my war binder and I will take that out to church and then the one behind it is full of like Cricut accessories so it has some like vinyl and stuff for quick access so yeah guys this is my full office tour we'll do one more panorama um I hope this shows you guys that you do not need a fancy space you do not need a big space um you really don't even really need a super dedicated space at all you just need a little area just to kind of have your time to plan or work or whatever it is um yeah i'm super grateful even for this little room uh i'm grateful to have a door where i can shut it off and you know uh, get away from my husband and my kids and have quiet time and yeah i'm really really love this space i'm so glad that i have it and i'm excited that i was able to share it with y'all today okay guys so that was the tour i hope you really enjoyed it um again uh, let me know what you think about the office in the comments below if you have any suggestions for reorganizing it to make more space because if y'all can see i need more space already um yeah, leave them in the comments below. I'm so happy I was finally brave enough to share my actual face with you. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video or any other videos seen on my channel, please like and subscribe, y'all. Also head over to my Instagram, xo.christina, to see more spreads that I'm working on. Thank y'all so much. I hope to be playing with y'all again very, very soon. Okay, XO, bye guys. <laughs>